Greetings, I'm Bishop Eric Kincaid Clark, ministering to you today. This megabyte comes out of this book that I wrote some time ago, entitled Other People's Money. It comes from our financial series. And in this book, I talk about how God always wants to use other people's money to bless you. When God raised up Joseph, Joseph was using the finances of Egypt to empower himself as well as his people. When God delivered Israel from Egypt, right before they left, they were instructed to get the jewels, the silver, the gold, the precious things that belonged to the Egyptians. God blessed his people with other people's money. So it brings into focus Luke 16. If you're faithful over that which is another man's, God will bless you with that which is your own. God is always watching how you handle other people's money. How do you handle your credit? How do you handle things that you have borrowed? How do you deal with what uh, you have been made a steward over? People's time on the job. They, uh, you're using someone's computer. You're using someone's car. Whatever it is. When you handle it correctly, God will bless you with that which is your own. Getting the wisdom at how to deal with other people's money can literally cause a wealth transfer to take place in your life. God will take that which belongs to somebody else and put it under your care, under your charge. Remember, the earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. And like in the case with King Saul and David, God took Saul's kingdom and put it in the control of David. If you're not faithful over what God has given you, you can lose it. Be careful that your stuff doesn't become other people's money. I'm Bishop Eric K. Clark, and this has been your Megabyte. <music>